create a room, you'll want to start by going to the room tool and clicking create room. You'll see a green and white uh, scale reference for the room and a blue and black scale reference for how tall a seat should be. At this height, uh, avatar using the default uh, stance.sitting node will sit on that cube. Um, I will make, since these are just references, I'll make a base little floor here. And actually, I can just go into here. So the floor, any meshes that you add just need to be under the skeleton underscore room. And I'll bring that scale cube with me here. Because only things in the room underscore export group get exported. Reference is just for reference. Uh, so if I use these sliders up here, I can change the scale of the room so I get a better idea of how big uh, the room is. But I will hide that reference group. And I will also add a wall here that I will explain what it's for later. So we have our room here. Uh, the first thing that I can show is the furniture nodes. So if I click on, if I select floor here and click plus furniture, you get a node that is a furniture node for the floor. So you can put a chair, a table, any sort of furniture like that on that node. If I switch to wall, you get some more options here for north, south, east, west. And these actually reference this, uh, this scale. So if I want to bring this in a bit closer to the dimensions of my room, if I create a furniture, you can see it creates it against this wall. And if I do south, then one is made over here. Same with east and west. And these are being added to the scene under this furniture nodes empty. So they're all right there. There's also these duplication options so if I wanted to make a grid of nodes on this wall, and I can use this middle number to change how far away they are from each other, and I click the right button, and I get a new node to the right of this one. I can do that a couple times, and then I can select them all and duplicate them down. And now I have a nice grid of furniture nodes. I will remove those to make this a bit more clean. And we'll go into the seating nodes. So there are three default types of seating nodes. There's an idle, a standing, and a sitting. I will add a sitting to this cube here. And when you make a seat node, they come with uh, three other nodes. This one up here is the handle node. And then these two are the catcher and pitcher nodes. If you have an animation attached to your uh, scene and you want that to be triggered by a seat, you can add a custom seat node here. I have a dance animation and you'll get the same grouping. And if you look at it in your outliner, you'll see there is a seat 08 underscore dance. There's also these plus and minus catcher and handle buttons. So I will use the default grouping of seat nodes here. Uh, I don't want to grab the floor. And if I do add catcher, then you get all of these catcher and pitcher nodes for them. And add handle will give you the uh, handles. So you can add and remove those as you please, nice and easily. Uh, the last thing I'll quickly cover is see-through nodes. There will be a more in-depth video on them, but for quickly showing what they are, I'll use this wall as an example. And now I can get rid of the reference wall. I'll hide that. Uh, so if I grab this cone here, this is the see-through node, and it hides anything that's behind the cone. So I'll want to rotate this face in the room, place this against the wall, and 
Now if I want to connect it to the wall, I select both the cone and the wall. I can use the link to see through button. And now they are linked. If you ever want them to be unlinked, you can grab the wall or the mesh that it's attached to and click unlink. So let me grab both those, link them. And now we can save our scene. I will save it as tutorial room. And you can hit export and it'll tell you that your room has been exported. It'll export to the same location as that file. And if you click open export directory, it'll bring you to the file. So now I will open InView Studio. And I go to create and rooms. I can derive off of the uh, default example 3D scene. Drive off that and import so you can put a desktop tutorial room. You can see that skeleton.room is in, all the meshes are in, and the default materials. So I will import that. And now we have our room. There's all this the nodes. This is the seating node. <laughs> Works very well with this alien costume I have on for, uh, for Halloween. Uh, and this wall is what had the see-through node. So as you can see, we can see the wall. And if I go from an angle, it disappears. So that is how to use the room tool.